Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Thompson. Uh, I find that a lot of patients get a little bit confused and lump a couple diagnoses into one category. There's the shoulder separation, which is one problem, and a real shoulder dislocation. Shoulder separation is one of those things that tends to happen when you're playing a sport and fall onto the tip of your shoulder. Now that's one of those things that can be associated with a bump on the top of your shoulder, pain, swelling, and often is treated just with a sling and rest. It is definitely worth getting an x-ray though, just to make sure that you're doing the right thing for your shoulder. Now the dislocations on, another, on the other hand, often come in sports, soccer, football, basketball, often when somebody falls onto their outstretched arm. And sometimes it even will happen with a contact type injury. In that case, there's two possible outcomes. One is the shoulder comes out completely, and the other uh, is a partial dislocation or a subluxation. In that case, sometimes the shoulder will just pop back into place on its own, or sometimes the person who got injured can manage to do something, wiggle, and get it to pop back in on their own. With a real dislocation, though, that gets a trip to the emergency department. And there, usually, the shoulder can be put back into place. And follow-up is important because that may or may not need surgical treatment down the road. Whatever your dislocation, separation or true dislocation, definitely get in to see somebody, and we can definitely get you back in the game.